zoom in a little bit as you can see right there is some aphids and those are on radish leaves so I'm going to be picking all of that um, if I move over here to this one we can see some aphids there so we're going to be pulling all the radishes today What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, parts of the garden have exploded, but we have one problem. We went on a vacation, a four day trip, and when I came back home, I seen these little tiny, um, they looked like little pieces of sesame all over one of my jalapeno plants that was right here. I didn't really know what they were. I looked it up and I found out they were aphids and they were all over that plant. I actually just scrapped that plant and I ended up using a solution of cast oil soap, Dr. Bronner's um, peppermint with water, and I sprayed all of this. I still have some aphids, but not nearly as bad as they were on that plant. Um, they're mostly on the radishes, and the radishes are ready to be picked, so I'm just going to pick them and get all of that crap out of this box. It seems like I've only found aphids in this box, not the other two. I do have radishes in another box, so I'm going to pick those also. And I'm probably going to end up pickling them in the fridge. I really don't have that many. I am going to pick these today, and I'm going to show you um, some of the aphids. So um, here's a few radishes that are in here and right under the leaves you can see a few there. I definitely don't have as much as I did but they're still present unfortunately and I grew these from seeds so what you want to do is you want to kind of pull it by the base part so I'm going to pull it out and there's a good size radish. And they should come out really easily. It's also a really good size. I can't take these inside yet because if you can see, those are aphids. Alright, in, in the middle right here, I obviously have my tomato plant. See, look, right there, if you can see that, it's aphids. We got two big ones. Okay, so this box, um, I really haven't seen any aphids in it. I've been looking um, a lot since I found the infestation in that box. This is my zucchini plant, and I've checked the leaves, and there's nothing underneath of it. So, But there are a few radishes in here, so I'm going to get those pulled. I don't know how they turned out. Nope. There's one in here that looks pretty good. It's an okay size. That one's pretty good. That one's all right. Okay, so these are all of the radishes that I ended up getting. I have a very small growing space in the house that we live in now. We're not allowed to plant actually in the yard, so this is what I got. I'm probably not going to plant more because I have an aphid problem this year. I've never had this problem anywhere else gardening. I'm not sure if it's something I did, if I bought a plant that had it on it, or bad luck this year. I have no idea, but these are what I got. And it looks like it's going to be enough probably for one jar. Um, to pickle. What I wanted to explain is in this box I have a zucchini plant and I have a tomato plant and now over there since I took out all the radishes and I sacrificed one jalapeno plant I now have a chives plant, a tomato plant, and a bell pepper plant which bell pepper plant is the one that actually has blooms on it now so we'll see if that makes it through the year. In this box over here a couple weeks ago I just planted some carrots and I have never planted carrots before so hopefully these we get a couple at least. I did read that carrots are really hard to get started because they're a hard seed and if you don't keep them wet enough you know they won't sprout and stuff. So I actually put the seeds in a jar with water for probably three days and then when they started to sprout I took them out and sprinkled them in a row. They are a little bit crowded but I'm just trying to see if I can get them to grow. I'm not trying to have a huge crop of it. It's my first year trying carrots also. Hopefully I have something to show you guys about that in a few months. Other than that, this is all I got today. I wanted to show you my terrible infestation of aphids. You know, I guess you can't always have a good year. It seems like I've had a couple 
doozies the last two years, but try again next year. Um, I am going to go inside and get the radishes pickled, so I will have a video of that coming up soon, so check back for that, and I'll have a taste test, so come back for that too. If you like this content, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.